So hi this is Lou, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing another one of these Christmas designs. So I've done three so far and then I've got some more in here and what I'm doing is I'm randomly choosing a theme and then doing something on that theme in the same kind of colour palette but using different art supplies. So let's see what theme we've got for today. Today we're doing something with mistletoe. So for some reason I wanted to do mistletoe on a dark background uh, because I like making life difficult for myself. So uh, there are different ways to do that. Uh, with watercolour you want to work light to dark so you could do the mistletoe and the white berries and everything first and then do the background in afterwards. Um, you could do it in gouache or something like that where you can work dark to light. I may give that a go if this doesn't work. I'm going to try these. I've had these for ages. They are India inks in different colours. Um, the only problem with them is that I've had them for so long that some of them have almost completely seized up. So I'm going to see if I can get any colour out of these. But uh, um, some of them seem to still have plenty of liquid in. So. Um, I'm going to work with those. Um, I've got a little cheap palette here because the India inks do um, dry and they um, are not then water liftable. They, um, so they give you a luminous effect like you get with watercolour but um, there you can also work um, light on top of dark as well. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to give these a go. Um, and if this doesn't work out, then you won't see it. So if you're watching this, it worked fine. So I'm going to try and do a nice wash of a dark greeny blue all over the background. So again, I'm working on watercolour paper and this is hot press watercolour paper and I've taped it down because I think I'm going to be using quite a bit of water with this and I want it to stay nice and flat. So I've created a bit of a wash on there but it hasn't kind of blended quite as nicely as watercolour does so I think I'm going to go in and add like a second wash over the top. Also deepen some of those colours a bit. Right, I'm going to give my brush a really good wash because the, uh, the Indian can really stain it and I'm going to leave this to dry. Okay, now this is all dry, I'm going to go in with some uh, lighter colours, hopefully, and see how that works. So, let's see if I can resurrect the white. I got something out of there. Who knows whether it'll be any good. So I'm going to start by putting some berries in. The mistletoe uh, is really interesting structure and it has most of its berries at the top of the stems. That's my thing. So again, you could do this with, this with gouache or another paint. Acrylics would work well with. And then I'm going to see if I can mix up a nice, more sagey green. For the leaves. It's a bit too bright.
and then let's start putting leaves in. So the mistletoe leaves are long and pointed and they come in twos. There. So if I pull, if I push down on my brush and then pull up as I get towards the top, I get a, like a long thin leaf. And the round point on my brush is pretty much perfect for getting that shape. I'm just adding in, dotting in a bit more colour to make sure it stands out properly. And then I can start to join those leaves together. And then I've mixed up the same colour again, but put a little bit more white in it so it's a little bit brighter and uh, a little bit lighter. And I'm going to paint a second layer of leaves over the top of the first. I haven't waited for the first layer to be completely dry, so they're going to run into one another. This uh, painting is turning out to have quite a loose style, which is maybe not what I planned, but I'm going to go with it. I think I could probably do with another berry or two, maybe right at the top here. You can do too many. But I'm quite liking them. Right, stop before you go too far. So this is mostly dry. It's quite enough hard to tell when it dries because it still stays shiny but I'm gonna go in and add some little areas of more detail with my little liner brush that I'm really enjoying and if it runs it runs so I want to go in and add some more areas of detail on these leaves So where you get the, the leaves joining, you get a little kind of bud coming out the middle and it's not quite straight and smooth. So I'm just putting a few little marks in those places to suggest that. I've just got these suggestions of darker leaves in the background and I want to add to those as well. So I'm going to mix some brown in with that dark green and then that will give me an even darker brown that I can add into the background. Now I want to define the berries a bit more and then I just want to give them like a bit of shadow. And then I can give some of them like a little
little, little bit at the end of the berry. Lastly, a little bit of red. That would tie around there. And then a big loopy bow. Okay, we have one very loose mistletoe painting. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. If you do do any work inspired by my artwork, I love to see it. And you can always post it on Instagram and tag me at Lou Rachel Davis. If you liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see more things like this, then please do subscribe. Uh, if you do want to do this, um, you don't have to have the India inks. These are quite an unusual item, I'm sure, but uh, this would work really well with acrylics or gouache paint as well. So um, I'd love to see your versions of them.